All right, we are back. Whoa, we are back. All right. Huh. Max. Dream moaning Max. messing with me. Max. Oh, Max. God, I can't stress enough how much better these in-between sequences are versus the first game. Do I need painkillers? Probably not in the dream world. Back dream, Mona. Oh. No. Yeah, no thin ass bloodlines to walk on. No baby screaming. No baby really. Oh. Think, think, think. Wait. Just wait. I can figure this out. I can, I can explain this. I can fix it. I can make it better. Think, think. different images of pained Max. <laughs> well, two. Oh, Matt. Did I have all the uh, emotions that I missed then? bit to see that. Whoa, what's going on here? Bodies. Stop. Stop. Wait. Stay out of this, Max. You're only making it worse. You've been suspended. She's one of them. She's here to kill me. I'm doing my duty. She is a fugitive murder suspect. I'm taking her in. She resists. She gets shot. Easy. Back off, Payne. No, Mona. Winterson. Had to do it. To save Mona. film. Yeah, apparently that one bullet from Winterson is more painful than the thousands I've taken throughout this game so far. Painkillers can't cure that. Always bothered me. Games that were based on that. Why can't we just give Eris a phoenix down, you know? Well, I know why, but it doesn't mean I have to like it. <laughs> Find out who solved the case. Promise me. Promise me, Pete. Stay true to the badge. Find out who did this. I promise I will, Pete. Dream. Jim Bravura. Oh, oh. Oh, probably should have stayed and waited for him to die. That was not very classy of me. Where is this leading me? This linear path is so much nicer. 
Oops. Back in my station. Whoa. Max, she is a murderer. Max, she's after us. Do I get a gun? She's one of them. Back off, Payne. Max, it's your duty as a detective. Max, huh. stay back. Duty? Winners and fall. That's the best Max, you can do. Dearest of all my friends. Brad? Too Let late, Max. You what? are under arrest for murder. I'm doing this for you, Max. What? A bullet in the head. I can end the pain. Crazy dreams in your bleeding now. <laughs> you come too, amidst the wreckage of your own making. Do you stay there, eyes squeezed shut, afraid to move, hoping to bleed to death? Huh. Or do you crawl out, help your loved ones, make sure the fire doesn't spread, try to fix it? This is your final warning. We have surrounded the building. Drop your weapons and come out with your hands above your head. Original. All this time, we got the fable of Sleeping Beauty wrong. Huh. All units are in position. We are ready to go. The prince didn't kiss her to wake her up. No one who slept for a hundred years is likely to wake up. Okay, people. <laughs> get ready to go in. We are gonna hit the place. It was the other way around. He kisses her to wake himself up from the nightmare that has brought him there. <laughs> Too stubborn to die, part three. This may be the final part, I don't remember. When I had woken up in the hospital earlier tonight, I had thought things couldn't get any worse. I was wrong. Fast forward from that to Winterson's body at the hospital morgue. I was a murderer, a cop killer. There are things in life you cannot choose, how you feel. I had lain at the bottom of the hole long enough, too long. Give up, you have nowhere to run. The cleaning company commandos were coming for me. I needed a gun, I needed to get past them. Hope the painkillers were enough to keep me on my feet. Right, roughly where we kind of started. I like games and stories that have odd kind of plot orders and things like that. And they put you right in the middle and let's save. <laughs> Memento. Now he was there, making a run for it. Yeah, hit some gas bottles trying to get them. See, I am trapped in here, so there won't be only one way to go. Is there okay. a gun in any of these for personal out. effects? No. Painkillers, don't want to miss those. You just put it off to inevitable. We'll get in sooner or later. Open up! You're just making this hard. Okay. There were no guns at the morgue. I had to get past him to fight him. You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm uh, coming for you. Well, the line used to freak me out. I was like, man, you that guy is serious. But you won't he was get safe far. in there, you stupid fuck. Alright, but where's the gun I had from these guys earlier? Okay, then. Going up. Can't go up anymore. Can't run this guy. Die, die, Howard. How am I? I don't have a gun. You guys are shooting me, and I'm unarmed. You can't hide. I keep knocking him down. That's kind of nice. Die. Police? They're reloading. Yeah, that guy's back there. Good for him. Is that guy like right on me all the time? Okay. Damn. 
I didn't go the right way, obviously. You're gonna get pain. How stupid can you get? You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm coming for you. You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. You can run, but you won't get far. your buddy. I guess I can just keep knocking you down. <laughs> Going my like weapon wheel, trying to find <laughs> Open the door, get us out of here. Alright, I should probably get these paint killers. I'll hear that line again. How stupid that was you get it. You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm coming for you. Great. All right. So I think we're figuring it out. I let him down. You did everything, Mr. Payne. Mitchum, he's here. Get him. What is this? Die. No, they're innocent. Oh, fellas. I don't like not having a gun. You're gonna get it now, Pete. How stupid can you get? You were safe stupid. in there, you stupid fuck. Okay. I'm coming for you. I let him down. I did everything that could be done. Mr. Payne! He's here. Get him. What is it? Ah! I'm up, Rob. Oh. oh, I like this part. There's no guns in here, though, I don't think. Like, Where is he? He isn't getting out. I'll guard the door. Make sure he doesn't get past us. They change tactics a bit. Sounds like a plan. Shh. Security! Stay where you are! Drop your weapons! You drop it! Oh, you can't hide. The dead security guard had dropped his gun in the doorway. If I could get to it, I could fight back. Mitchum, anything? I'll get him. Now we got a fighting chance. Now we got one fighting chance. Hell yeah. Alright. Got around to it eventually. I don't think there's anything else for me around here. Stick with this for a bit. Basic pistol. Didn't take too much damage that time. Now there's guns everywhere. They're spoiling me. Oh, of course, it's the oh! gun. Is everyone a freaking coward in this game? Just gotta tie everyone up for a little bit at least. Kalishnikov, my old friend. Damn. Killing a lot of innocent people here. Unknown. Usually during a, an intense part like this, they usually calm things down. It's little lords and ladies. We're staying heavy though. You have a tumor in your brain, making you mad. We're forced to operate. I'll leave that one. I need a free soda. Address on cola. Man, it's like they they closed down that. Theme park, the addressed unknown theme theme park, but it's still on TV and everywhere else it seems to be thriving. It's merchandised everything else that you possibly can. Well, just soda, but oh, that's not a painkiller. Address unknown soda. We care about your health. The deal was to wait half an hour. It's way past that. Mitchum and Feller had plenty of time to take care of pain. After half an hour, we break out the heavy artillery. That was the plan, and we are sticking to it. I'm saying this is a mistake. I'm saying we should have done this sooner. 
It was getting stuffy in the van. Hello! Oh, it's so satisfying. However many episodes in we are, never gets old. Hadn't been a half hour that I've been running around. Honestly. It's one tough old school monitor. Oh my god. Lord. Oh, and we're all the way back here. Alright. Well, now I can do this the way it's meant to be done. Flawlessly. How stupid can you get? You were safe in there, you stupid fuck. I'm coming for you. Hope you enjoyed that. That was literally the last time you're gonna hear that, I promise. See ya. Like normally they'd just be running around everywhere. Top speed here there. Gets a little more sinister. He isn't getting out. I'll guard the door. Suspenseful. Make sure he doesn't get past us. Hunt him down. Sounds like a plan. Security! Stay where you are! Drop your weapons! You drop it! The dead security guard had dropped his gun in the doorway. Only if I could get to bolts. it, I could fight back. Now. Mitchum, anything? I'll get him. There you go. Yeah, about in the same spot I was last time. That's fine. Thanks, dead security guard. Coward! Coward. <laughs> Shooting unarmed people. Coward! You really don't have to stop your uh, murder spree just because you pick up a new gun. In fact, I might prefer it if you didn't do that. But that's fine. All right. There we go. Here goes. I think you're hitting glass, fellas. At least we're getting a slightly different experience. Oh, is that these two guys? I don't know how they saw me. Must have stumbled in without paying attention. Alright, this is roughly where I died. Not gonna save because I'm overly confident. That was pretty good. You shoot your buddy? Oh, that's so good. You shot your buddy. Oh, people can learn to walk again here. Whoa! Cue the uh, Foo Fighters song, then that guy started shooting me in the face. Never mind. Pretty good on this MP5, I guess. Getting behind it, our painkillers. Okay. Pain. Coming around? Just waiting for me to shoot me in the dick? Okay. That's fine. Some people I murder, they, they prefer that. They select that plan. <laughs> nice, I like that. Where's the cameraman? There's Lords and Ladies. An all-new episode of Lords and Ladies, brought to you in part by Castling Insurance Companies. <laughs> That's my response to Lords and Ladies. Whoa! Damn. 
That would have hurt that guy. Whoa. Foot shot. Still my favorite. As easy as oh, as easy to just just run in with the uh, bullet time. I don't know. There's just something about that dive. It's very satisfying. Yeah, I think they were supposed to stagger those guys a bit more, but they were all bunched up at the top. What the hell? I got just. I didn't hear a bullet. Shoot, okay. Hide. Bullet time, bitches! Or not! <laughs> Maybe they had it too. Hold on. Alright. We're back here again. How about that? Bullet time didn't work out great last time. Let's see if they chase. Run! I don't know where that would have gone, yeah. Not near me. Fire in the hole! Oh, did you get that off? It seemed like you got that off in this case. Oh, I screwed you. Hmm. It's kind of weird. Like, I'm standing right there and shooting, and my bullets are going in the ground. He doesn't reload while he's diving, which makes sense, I suppose. Oh, I have a grenade. I have a grenade. Touche, Max Payne. Yeah, I just need like a gun that's gonna clear art. I had a I had a Nerf gun when I was a kid. Or a Nerf-esque gun, which uh, had a sight where you could like, it, it, it's sort of like a periscope, as useless as that seems, whoa, as useless as that seems now, but as a kid you're like, I need this. Take that. Don't cut away yet. That's kind of what I'm thinking of right here. I need something. I need something. Actually, I don't need anything, anything right now. I just need it like 20 saves. You'd be doing great in this game, then you walk into the wrong room. A lot of wrong rooms in this game. And yeah, they'll just give you a bullet shower. At the those... construction site, I had been ready to give myself in. There would have been no answers, no second chance. Nothing would be fixed. I had to solve the case on my own. Mona was still the answer. I caught glimpses of her out of the corner of my eye, felt her presence everywhere I went. I was trying to trace her path, recreate the winding course of the magic bullet in her head. I couldn't find her. I drove out of the city in the direction Mona had pointed me, to a man who specialized in answers. Alfred Woden. The architecture of Alfred Woden's manor had its origins in European darkness along with the inner circle. Mr. Payne, I've been expecting you. The only true reason why men fight wars, love. The score on Mona Sachs. Next question. <laughs> Fine. Why is the inner circle trying to kill me? I am dying. Cancer. Power has leaked through my fingers. There was a rebellion. A renegade faction has pushed the society into a civil war. Everyone who resists is assassinated. We have been reduced to fighting mob wars. Vinny Gagnitti? Vladimir Lem. I knew the answer before he told me. 
Vlad had lied. Huh. Cleaning company commandos were his men. Son of a bitch. Vladimir Lem has belonged to the society for many years. Gogniti is going to die in the hands of the Inner Circle Renegade. Then he is coming for me, his one-time mentor. Crash I left Woden at the door of his panic room. By talking of fate, Vlad had been asking for my blessing to his plan to murder me. I've been <laughs> keeping to the backbeat, reacting to Vlad's moves, cleaning up after him. No more. It's Get in quick. It's <laughs> what are they watching? Captain Baseball Bat Boy? Fantastic. All right. Well, let's pick up here. This is going to be pretty entertaining next episode or so. I promise that. So tune in for that. Thank you, as always, for watching. We're coming down on the home stretch here. I think this is the final part, but I uh, don't want to speak too soon. But, yeah, I hope to see you in the next episode.